I have popped into your world when you are doing a uh, whole unit in geometry on what shape, everyone? Circles, circles okay? Uh, and so on your slate, draw a circle. Make it not a small, a medium-sized circle, but draw a circle. And one will do. Uh, now, in your book, uh, they define a circle, as we review this vocabulary, they define a circle as a set of what, everyone? Points, points uh, in a plane, plane. Uh, and those points uh, are what? Equal, Equal distance, distance from the center. So everybody add a center and ones. Pretend your partner has not ever been in this class, thus does not know the definition in your geometry book of a circle. I want you to use your circle to explain this definition of a circle. Once you are the teacher, teach it using it. For example, I might say something like this. Uh, so a circle, uh, first of all, is here is on one plane and it has a center. But all, each around here, there were, and so you're going to explain it. Ones, explain it to your partner using your image on your paper. Perfect and fall silent looking up here. Every single group I heard only excellent, excellent, very clear explanation. So you said uh, a circle is defined as a set of points where each point is equal distance from the center. So this point is the same distance to the center as this point, as this point, as this point, uh, and we can have an infinite number of points on there. Excellent. Well, keeping your drawing right there, uh, you have also looked at the term radius. Uh, everybody add a radius to your diagram. Okay, show me. Perfection. Twos, tell your partner using your diagram uh, as if they had never been here, radius. Tell them what radius is. Yes. Okay, listening? Perfect. So I heard you say. Uh, if we have an endpoint that is the center and it goes to the circumference of the circle, this outer edge, that that would be a what, everyone? A radius. radius. Hey, and on yours, draw a diameter. Label the endpoints. Any label you wish? Okay, show me diameter. Perfect ones. Pretend your partner was not here using your endpoints and your diagram. Explain it to your partner and go. Uh, are you a one? I'm two. You're a two. Okay, let me hear it, Chris. Um, the diameter is the width of mm -hmm. the circle all the way through. So from one endpoint to the endpoint, and it has to go through the middle. Through the center, yes. Okay, so listening to Chris, he said, well, uh, diameter would go through the center with an endpoint, uh, both endpoints on the circle. And so raise your hand if yours looks like mine. Okay, now, well, it could go any direction though. Uh, let's look at this word. Di means what, everyone? 
two. two. So it could divide it into two. Meter is measure. So get ready to tell me uh, if this is a radius or a diameter. And first, looking at this circle. And tell me if this could be a radius. Just tell me yes or no. Uh, radius, yes or no? Yes. And yes or no? Excellent. Okay, get ready to tell me diameter, center point. And on yours. Make a line that is not a radius. And label it. Mm -hmm. Not a radius. Okay, show me, but put your finger on the line that represents not radius. Right. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. Yes, 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 yes. And with the end, erase the center. You can keep the circle, but erase the center. I mean, everything that is inside the circle. Okay. And once you have it done, then draw a line that shows not diameter. Perfect. Everybody show me. Yes. Excellent job. Erase the whole thing. Not your name. Okay, a quick review of degrees on uh, your slate. I want you to put the number of degrees in a circle. Okay, show me. Everybody, how many? Turn 60, erase. And Degrees in a semicircle. <coughs> Check your partner, see if they have the same. Excellent, show me. And it is what, everyone? 180, 180 degrees. Excellent. Perfection, erase the whole thing. Okay, last review. Uh, you were learning what is a, what everyone, a? A chord. And it's not a chord on the piano, boom. Uh, but rather it is a, what everyone, a? Segment. Uh, whose end points are points on a? A circle, okay? So, I want you to carefully look at this diagram and you are going to write down uh, those line segments that are a, what everyone, a? A chord. You don't have to make the diagram, but look at, this is a D, just in case you're wondering. I'm going to put the definition back there so you can check it against the definition. As soon as you have yours, I want you to compare it to your partner. And if you disagree, then look back at the diagram and ask, um, and really check it out to see if it is a line segment whose endpoints are points on a circle.
Okay, eyes up here, let's do this one together. So the first one we're looking at is the line segment labeled here, what everyone? AB. So here is the endpoint A, here is the endpoint B. And do they have endpoints that are uh, points on a circle, yes or no? Yes. yes. So is this a chord, yes or no? Yes. yes. B, C. B, C. Uh, does it have endpoints that are points on a circle, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Is it a chord? Yes. Yes. And C, D starts here, goes there. Uh, and do both the endpoints on the circle, yes or no? no. Is it a chord? No. And D, E? Is it a chord, yes or no? no. Ones, tell your partner why it was not a chord. Perfect. And you said because it has to have the endpoints uh, on the circle, this one's not, so it is not a chord. Beautiful.